Uh, so make sure that you should put your mouth as close as possible to the microphone. <laughs> because it's sexier when you get, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's much clearer. Currently, it is 6.16 p.m. We are 16 minutes behind. Um, also, mind me that um, I have a sore throat and I have a, I have a flu. So when I cough, please be aware. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, thank, uh, thanks for coming to my Infinite Valuable Time podcast. Uh, from the very right, please uh, introduce yourself to the people of the world. Who are you and uh, what's your major? Hello, this is Rutwig and I'm an aerospace engineering major studying at Imperial Aeronautical University and I come all the way from India. Okay. Hi guys, uh, I'm, my name is Ritika and I'm an aerospace engineering major. Hi, I'm Ruth, I'm also an aerospace engineering major. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Emma and I'm an AMS major, which is aviation maintenance and I come from Zambia. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Devesh Varivasadya, you can call me Dia and I'm majoring astronomy and astrophysics. Okay. Hey folks out there, my name is Rishi, I'm from India and I'm doing major on like aerospace, <coughs> last year PhD student. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today. Uh, obviously, we are the group that created and bonded together with the FILC. Um, and as you can see, so for the people who's watching my YouTube channel, you can see that Root Fig is wearing the FILC green t-shirt. Root Fig, <laughs> please introduce, what is FILC? So. FILC stands for Florida International Leadership Conference, like right on my t-shirt, and it's the best opportunity I've <laughs> ever came across my time here. Yes. What did, you, uh, what did we do? It was most likely a conference where people from all over Florida with like different colleges came all over. I guess it was like 19 different universities. 15. 15? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was 15 different universities that came all over there, around 110 students only students, okay, 110 students came all together at a camp in Lake Flaccid and had a fabulous time over the time of two days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this podcast is mainly going to what call, unbox and reveal the behind the scene of the FILC for three days, Friday to Sunday. Um, from the very left, Rishi, what was your the best highlight moment in an, our FILC that people could be interested in about? Sure. I think uh, I need to add some uh, perspective along with uh, what Ritwik just mentioned. I've been to other academic conferences, uh, but this one, uh, by the name itself, it stands for like leadership conference, where you know I try to collaborate with like other uh, people from different universities. The unique thing about this one is, you know, here you're not forced to talk, but you are put into a situation that uh, you don't have anything else, nothing but to talk with new people particularly from like uh, different universities uh, from inside Florida and at the same time people who I've never met before even from the same university yeah uh, but it gave me like new bonding uh, which I tend to look and respect a lot uh, yeah. so that's very one uh, unique good thing that I looked upon this one and uh, we felt very safe throughout the trip and uh, there was a lot of joyful moment that I can keep adding upon. Yeah. Also, I found out that uh, you <laughs> live next to me. That's <laughs> right. At the Eagle Landing. So that was pretty cool. Um, what do you guys think about the the cabin? Because we didn't, because I didn't show that in the the recap video. I think we should add it in like the blooper because we I was videotaping at that point and then yeah. Uh, I mean, I can add my first view on that. Uh, when they said camping, I really thought I'm gonna live in like you know, sleeping yes. on the floor yes. uh, because I was prepared with uh, sleeping <coughs> bags and stuff. Yeah. But then, you know, it was kind of cozy in a way, mm -hmm. if you call it like camping on, because this is kind of a uh, dorm setup, even though you had yeah. this bunk bed and so on. And there were a lot of new faces that, you know, I would never expect. I think it's looked pretty similar to if you go on like a tour for Europe type continents where, mm. you know, you have these uh temporary stay place where they basically do the same thing what is it called um, hostels Hostel. yeah hostel, hostel um well, like a paying guest kind Airbnb? of situation yeah too. kind of kind of yeah i'll say um the cabin was really better than i expected because you know same to you i thought we're gonna sleep in the tent outside but you know uh in the shower room the water was you know super hot it was pretty cool yeah. 
Um, anything else you can add to the cabin? Mainly the AC worked. Yeah, AC it worked. worked AC perfect. worked. Yeah, <laughs> it was cold. It did work, but someone turned it really low. In <laughs> in our rooms, it was freezing at <laughs> night, and I was like, I only have my sleeping bag. What is this? <laughs> I was like, stop. Yeah. <laughs> and like we were sleeping with like people, strangers. So right. There was like lack of communication on what temperature we want the room to be at. Mm. I feel like that was a big problem like nobody wanted to talk to each other really we w- yeah we we're only there for two days so okay. it's really hard to know your roommates right people you're sharing a <coughs> dorm with in two days mm-hmm. yeah I yeah th- i think my experience is different because my entire dorm we yeah. are all really close yeah who, who was in your dorm um, um irina yeah, I got yeah. Her sweater. yeah. <laughs> and royce She's awesome dude She's and royce awesome. and like um and sophie like my entire dorm like every day in the morning we would yeah. do like m- like get ready together videos together yeah. and we'll do like um like fit checks and everything <laughs> <laughs> in the morning yeah my my roommate like all of my roommates we were really close yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay that she's like very like extroverted very social mm-hmm. so she's i feel like it's easier for Loki easier for her to make friends yeah my dorm i think if i did talk to someone it was like a short conversation like oh are you okay with me putting on perfume because one of us was like allergic it's yeah. like oh are you okay if i put perfume <laughs> or something like that that was it Dang. so it depends on the person Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Like I remember, like the last day of camp, and we we're packing our stuff. Yeah. And the girl who sl- who used to sleep like right next to me was like, "Oh my god, you've been in this dorm the whole time." <laughs> 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 and she was like right next to me. <laughs> yeah. Vishri, anything you want to share? Uh, I would like to add that the main purpose are of uh, staying in the cabin with people you don't know mm-hmm. is just to learn their culture mm-hmm. and just to get mingle around and connect with each other mm-hmm. so right now like th- any activities that we did um, at the FLC and as you mentioned Rishi that it forced you c- in a way to step out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. and connect and actually <coughs> talk with other people other yeah. participants and actually perform a task that is given to you mm-hmm. so it's it kind of enhances your leadership skills and also it kind of gives you an opportunity to build the connections and different way you basically test yourself out right yeah and uh they sure you are the peer leader right uh yes uh, and the, did you stay in the other cabin other than other students right uh, no, I did not. Oh, you were in the same cabin? Yes. Oh, okay. All okay. the peer leaders were with the participants. Yeah. So that's how we can just talk with them. So this was like, we all are together. We were. I was participant last year. Oh, uh-huh, right. And I'm coming, I came this year again as a peer leader to mm-hmm. support and just contribute because I had an amazing experience last year. Yeah. And I wanted to give that experience to other participants as well. Mm-hmm. So. What was your uh, the highlight moment? The highlight moment was a couple of them. I remember um, the first day itself, uh, people, all the participants were divided into different groups mm-hmm. and they were supposed to have different team building activities. Right. And the thing that I saw is like how ev- all of the st- participants had to get together and uh, share their experience and walk through the bingo games mm-hmm. and stuff like it. So the it color was test. kind of very interesting for me to yeah. see that. Uh-huh. And it was really nice. <coughs> yeah, Emma, what about your uh, highlight moment? I feel like my highlight moment for me was the dance, the cowboy uh, dance. Yeah, the like night. The really night, yes. Amazing. The night was amazing. Like yeah. I yeah, Brian. <laughs> 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 I got to like dance with different type of people. It really uh-huh. like urged me to just come out of my comfort zone and mm-hmm. have like fun with different people yeah and that know. that proves that people can dance and have fun without drinking exactly <laughs> no, 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 that, yes. that's for real yeah, yeah, yeah. the only so thing shocked. we drank that day was like soda and water and <laughs> was so hyped <laughs> up yeah, yeah. we I did so yeah at the beginning oh yeah yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've never like danced that much oh i've never danced that much without yeah. drinking that's crazy yeah. <laughs> we danced the whole night yeah, like yeah like that's good much. that's good yeah. yeah you burn some calories and that's an exercise <laughs> i would say yeah yeah how about you? Um, I'd say the same thing. Yeah. Probably it was also um the party because I I think I've I've been to like like to the parties before mm. and don't drink. I don't know. Everyone else was drunk. It's just like it's not the same energy. Right. But then there it was like we're on the same like like vibe. Uh-huh. So it was it was really fun. Yeah. 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 I remember Ruth and I getting ready. We were like, let's go dance, and we were we were like dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll put uh, you guys dancing video over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I would like to add uh-huh. the best experience that I would say is like meeting new people. They were only international students, but they were like people all over the U.S. as well. Mm-hmm. I met a person who literally is from just a couple of miles away from Daytona Beach. She's from New Smyrna Beach. Okay. And they were from U- uh, University of Florida. Yeah. Not sponsoring, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the best memory that I have is during the dance, uh, we went to grab some air, mm-hmm. and we went to the pier. Mm-hmm. It was night time, uh, and we just beautiful. started dancing on the pier like crazy yeah. with the stars, you know. Yeah, with yeah. the stars, we did Texas line dancing there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with songs all over. We're like literally crazy mad. Yeah, that is the best memory that I have from the dance night. Yeah, and it was just a lovely experience that night. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, can we uh, go again for next uh, for you know for next year? Is it okay? Uh, can we apply again and then go again? Oh, okay. A lot of students, a lot of participants can go again. Yeah. It's uh, more preferred that the students who participate come there as a peer leader. Right. And that way, it would it's <coughs> much better to give the other participants and other students mm-hmm. all over Florida an opportunity. Yeah. So if I if you want to go again, I would recommend you to be a peer leader instead mm-hmm. of being a participant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But can we go as a participant again? Okay, because it'd be funny it if we all go there yes. the yeah. next year. Okay. The same. <laughs> it would be, but uh, I would say not recommended. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Unlike let's build more connections and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, what you got there? Oh, I got this oh. really nice yeah. mug of FLC. Yes. Yes. I love all the mugs. I'm like, okay, I gotta show <laughs> this in yeah. the podcast. So mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we also made our, our recap video, one minute recap video, right? I Yes. Thank you. Uh, watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> on yeah, it was awesome. Yes. Go right so now and watch it. It actually highlights <laughs> all, all, all that FILC is about. Yeah. So yeah. I apologize. I wasn't put your voice in there, okay. but for the time was I had to cut. I no, it's the way you put eye opening and yeah. then the picture of me like opening my <laughs> eyes really wide. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There was intention. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. So it was indeed an eye opening experience. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, if you win this contest what's the price do you know 150 something yeah 150 with a party pizza party Oof. Yeah. yes yeah, let's okay. go that's pizza. Okay. I, don't like yeah. pizza much, I, don't, I don't like pizza that much really okay, I'll have yours I'll have yours okay <laughs> 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 yeah. just on the moment uh, we mentioned about pizza I think I should take a moment to um, appreciate the people over there mm-hmm. um, in terms of food they really arranged mm. like you know a uh, better way keeping including like you know some kind of juice available all the time yeah mm-hmm. i thought it wouldn't work like on the other time but mm-hmm. i just walked by like 2 a.m in the morning or something they were still like fresh really? and they were just providing a lot oh, wow. so and those guys who serve there i think they just live there for us uh, helping yeah and uh, i mean we went like multiple times uh, myself yeah. and brian were like going let's just try c- keep adding more protein but i think yeah. it was a balanced food mm-hmm. uh covering up like Particularly me being having some uh, dietary condition like being vegetarian. Yeah, there's some vegetarian m- menus too. Uh, even though I find difficulty outside, <laughs> but over there it was so much comfortable. And then I think people who overwork towards it, like peer leaders or even advisors, including the main conference people, they really did a good job. Mm-hmm. I felt like even if I go on other conference, uh, they don't carry you much. But over here, you know, as we just talked about, even if it's the day that I met him was like a day before, but he was like, did you eat? Mm-hmm. Like, do you want anything? I mm-hmm. found something there, like us in the ha- coffee house. They had like at the end, chip bag or something, which yeah. they would just keep supplying a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know who the sponsor is, but kudos for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's very true. It took a lot of effort. And I think this comes from the perspective that we all are international and coming from different places. We know how important it is to eat good food and have mm-hmm. those food. Yeah. So I think... I really appreciate as Rishi said and also I remember the students ever participants who were doing Ramadan mm-hmm. so we had meals and prayer rooms available for them as well like yeah. before they also the had morning a and the eating the yeah. night so they also had a fridge for the you know for the Arabic people for the Ramadan yeah, people exactly. to keep the food exactly. in the fridge yeah, I think that was really thoughtful. And also, uh, I think uh, all of us who are like even eating in the same table or even mixed with different people, mm-hmm. we noticed that group support the local provider mm-hmm. or the supplier. We didn't see any known commercial products that we ate. Particularly the sour cream was still in my mind that, you know, I think a lot of people were talking about it. Mm-hmm. It was not known product, mm-hmm. but they 
support their community a lot mm-hmm. even the ice cream or everything it was so <coughs> fresh whatever they mm-hmm. make us in the batches mm-hmm. i think it's like a family the four hutch if it represents correctly mm-hmm. they were like a family who are trying to you know develop and people around them to they support the community a lot so that was yeah. something very you know we should all support those kind of initiatives that they took because of course. yeah yeah that's something i l- i loved a lot as yeah. a social cause they stepped up and uh-huh. they were able yeah. to support a lot yeah yeah, yeah. I, i would like to add first of all shout out to mason he was the one who handled all the food at FILC and the whole camp who's that amazing guy with the glasses yeah the, the glass, tall guy yeah. and he also taught us how to dance in like texas line dancing oh that he guy so yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. was from there yeah, yeah. then he was awesome he was yeah. awesome and plus he also made sure that everyone's stomachs are full yeah. with like double uh, servings and triple servings as well and before going there he also as D- dia said already he made sure that people had food for ramadan once the sun sets down and even before the sun rises he was he made the breakfast uh, prepared even before the sun rose was it a guy who uh, who was um, at the uh, what do you call the river you know helping people get exactly. in the canoe yes yeah. he also helped yeah he told me not to know. jump in the water <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 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 i heard he got scolded <laughs> <laughs> and just still jumped in the well, water well okay, the thing about that is no one told me not to jump in the water so i jumped and i can swim i got a life jacket so why not It was called like that was alligators. Yeah, there were alligators <laughs> in there. Okay, if you are <laughs> if you are okay, good. Brian. <laughs> Brian, would you say that that was the highlight moment for you? Yeah. I would <laughs> say yeah. <laughs> Jumping yeah. on the water, yeah. flying drones, you know. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. Talking about the uh, the food, I got something that could be interested. It's not the food you eat, but it's a thing that you could put on the food. Oh. Okay. Syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds bougie. <laughs> Salt and pepper. <laughs> so you're not supposed to bring food here. It's not food. But have you guys ever heard about? Uh, do you guys know Joe Rogan podcast? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Do you know uh, smelling salt? No. Do you know What? smelling salt? Is that the <laughs> thing you smell when you thin? <laughs> this oh. is. I just said salt too. <laughs> <laughs> I only guessed it. I guess. <laughs> like this is a uh, Juji Mutsu, Juji Mufu smelling salt, and is it I. Like MSG. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. Uh, I want you guys to try this. Try it. Yeah, you oh. don't you don't eat this, okay. but you smell it, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'll uh, give this to you, you know, like that. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. First, just watch my reaction, okay? <laughs> I'm scared. Well, family, if you are seeing this video, I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> next, but <laughs> stay safe. It's Brian's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Catch Brian first. Right. So open it and smell it. What is oh it? So the benefits. The benefit of this good. is people who do weightlifting, they smell it and then they can just boom bump it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh? I feel like yeah. I need it. It's though. far away from my nose, but still I'm getting some vibes. Okay, open guys, it. I just love you guys. It. Okay. <laughs> Don't put it too close. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it hits the spot. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Why are you guys putting it close? Ah. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. I'm scared. No, you're, you're not gonna die. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> no, this is your thumbnail. Okay. I'm gonna smell it before my eco <laughs> test this morning. <laughs> I'm 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 very excited. Yeah. Does that does this even work for your exams like before your exams? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. It gives you the the boost to your brain. <laughs> It's going to give us the boost, okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh my god. Rishi, Rishi, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. This really come on. had a long day, man. <laughs> hey, this going to wake you up. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to get you different high. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> can 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 I have it again? <laughs> Please. You don't smell it? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> smell it more. Twitch twitch. <laughs> 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 there you go. Positive, 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 positive. So yeah, this the uh, the. Pr- What actually is this? What actually? It's a smelling salt. It's a. Uh, combination of ammonia. Yeah. Oh. 
Ammonia's. Yeah. yeah. And it says eye irritant. It literally <laughs> has a logo of like, do not go near the eye or the Just fire. The fact is, the smelling actually got decreased. So when oh. I for, when I first bought it, it was worse. It was like ten times worse. Oh, like it I can taste it. Why? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can literally taste it. Oh. What was the purpose no, of this? Oh, that's the purpose. Why? Why do you do this to us? To yeah. get a sponsorship. Oh, sponsorship! Oh. <laughs> actually, get yourself actually, some smelling so <laughs> No, you should. Oh, it's oh. it's very it strong. It yeah. smells like if that's uh, what chlorine in the swimming pool. Get like prime scholar is uh, scholarship. I sponsorship. <laughs> sorry, I know it <laughs> also helps with like people with prime. like asthma or like somebody when somebody passes out. If you just oh. like make them smell it, oh. it helps. Yeah. Them. It helps you yeah. fire. So if if you're gonna buy this, do not ever put this. On your friend's nose, under their under their nose while they're sleeping. Oh, because they were. I mean, you can, you can, but you know. Uh, why do you have that? Risk. <laughs> why do you actually have that? Because I got I was inspired by Joe Rogan. Okay. He inspired me to buy this, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna make uh, make a tradition like every time we do podcast, I'm gonna let let my guest smell this, so you can have a you know brain boost, That's you know. Come on, Joe Rogan. Okay, Brian, that that packet was open before. Whom did he use it last night on? Uh, my friends. Did your roommate? Oh. Is your roommate okay? Whoa. No, I didn't <laughs> use my. Uh, do you know Shashank? Shashank Begur? Yeah. Yes, we I've do know seen him. Yeah. Guy? Yeah, yeah. 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 I uh, guy? on on the March. He, uh, it was his birthday. I actually bought him this as a birthday gift. He has, a, he has the same thing. Okay. He has the same thing, <laughs> and then oh, he gift? smelled it, and I. Get, oh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it's really funny. I'm gonna put the video over here. Does he? Does he? Does he work out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I gave him. Yeah, he, he literally he said ah with that <laughs> gift. Huh? He literally said ah with that gift. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> Rishi, Rishi's face was priceless. <laughs> yeah, Rishi was. Rishi was. <laughs> I can smell it. I can. It, it took <laughs> him a hot minute to just <laughs> <Yeah>. get it. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I could even feel one side, one side, <laughs> oh, you know, the yeah, nostril was. Really it, it, it actually oh, cleans off the nostril. Unchist. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel better? Aren't you like sick? Yeah. Do you feel better? I feel better. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Kudos. Yeah. All right. Heading to so, I know that you were gonna talk something about the cyber truck. No. Yeah. yeah. I was not. <laughs> yes. I was just gonna say. Yes. I what? was just not. I was just gonna say it's cool. Okay. It's cool. Okay. Uh, but like engineering wise, it's really cool. But of I course. like. Like analogy wise, I feel like right now it's an iPhone five, and it could become an iPhone thirteen. What do you mean? So like it's a, it's a right huge now, upgrade. Right now, there's like a lot of like stuff that they can make better, limitations? like limitations, because like the lithium battery can't be in like very extreme cold mm. environments because mm. it's not gonna work. It can't be in like sandy environment. <coughs> right. It's not. It's like very sensitive. It's like a baby, so it has to like grow up and like of course, you know, mature of better. So yeah. I'm just wait. Like I'm like the type who waits for like you know it to get better. So you would get a cyber truck too. If it gets better. Uh, it of course, it's not get better. Come on, it's an Elon Musk company. Bro, I. <laughs> not like a guarantee <laughs> i still have to wait and see yeah i know i love i love evs bro like yeah i probably will get it at some point at first i thought it looked <laughs> weird but it grows on you yeah yeah but like <laughs> but like i like but in like if it's like electric truck like electric vehicles that we're talking about yeah. then i'm i'm i love electric vehicles yeah, yeah. they're like they're a, it's a good um have you ever rode a ev no oh. go to orlando go to florida <laughs> mall okay they let you drive the tesla for free Ooh. yeah i think my Uber when I went back home, like for spring break, yeah. it was a it was a Tesla, <gasps> no and way. it was so cool. I was I was like, this is for me, okay? <laughs> 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 it was it was really fun. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. so smooth. So mm-hmm. cool. I was impressed, honestly. Yeah. What do you think? That's a nice Cybertruck. Cyber truck. I've I've been in a Tesla before, so which I'm one? In, I'm in in women of aviation, uh-huh. and like our events coordinator has a Tesla. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. So wow. She, <laughs> she took us to an event. And like it was like super brand new. She was like, I also don't know what to do. <laughs> like, don't look at me. Which model? Like, which model I was it? I have no idea. Oh, I forgot. It, it was, was it the one with the uh, door like opening like this or? No, 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 no. no. Just like no more opening doors. Sedan. Is it what? Is this SUV or sedan? I have no idea. It's, oh. <laughs> it's like a normal car. It's not an SUV. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's a four door car. <laughs> okay. 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 As you can see, we're not experts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a mechanic. Okay. <laughs> You know, for planes. <laughs> they are they are hiring <laughs> they are hiring mechanics for Tesla. So yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'll, I'll stick to aircraft. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's cooler. <laughs> 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 I have more fun. Yeah. Now yeah. For but Tesla yeah. gives more money. 
so depends. Like depends. Depends. Oh. Yeah, depends on like internship wise. You can oh, get okay. quite a lot of money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, they, do they hire international students? Yes, they, they do. do. <gasps> no. They have a div- yeah, guys. They have a diversity like program thing where they look for international students. Keep. What? Yeah, Chris, uh, Elon. Hi, 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 hi Tesla. If you're watching this, can you please <laughs> hire me? Yeah, yeah, Elon. Elon is from the South Africa, so hire me oh, too. I applied yeah. my resumes with you. Really? <laughs> you you applied? Of course. Oh, when did you? So did you get in? Uh no, I just applied for oh. next summer because I'm like no way, yeah. bro. Send me the application. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> I want to apply too. I'll send it to you. Yeah. 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 No, you just have to know the right people. Mm. Oh. No, for real. Do you? What's your? I know you. Don't tie. What's Networking, guys. <laughs> True. <laughs> Go to conferences. Take on EVs. No th- uh, thoughts on the Cybertruck. <laughs> what <laughs> is Cybertruck? Oh my! <laughs> show the picture. Show the picture. I'm so sorry. What? Yeah. I'm so what sorry, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a heartbreak. It's okay not to. I got I got to continue one thing that just Ritika said. She said like go to conferences. That's what we do at FILC. Make connection, guys. Yes, that is very I true. Let me just like, but let me just um like, it's not a conference. It's more of a net, like meeting friends yeah. kind of event, yeah. not exactly like meeting professionals. <laughs> yeah. No, like the first thing when I heard it was a conference, in my mind was like, I need to buy a suit. Yeah, yeah. like a meeting up conference. Yeah, like yeah. I business. Thought, uh, yeah, yeah, but like it was really laid back, really yeah. chill. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was sleeping during the like. <laughs> the <laughs> no, Ritika, that, like the R- breakout room. Yeah, Ritika <laughs> was a bad girl. Like <laughs> was she sleeping. was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Most of I the time. Had, like that the week before I had three exams. I just didn't sleep the entire week. No, that's a funny thing. Everybody was studying. Yeah. 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 yeah, we were studying during the conference. Yeah. Me and Irina, we were like go to the pier and then we'll be studying. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it was crazy. So the first initial impression. It's cool. Yeah. Would you buy it? <laughs> would you would I buy it? Yeah, would you buy it? If you had money, yeah. No. Mm. Why not? <laughs> huh? You don't think that sexy truck? Sexy. Yes, it is. No, no, no. <laughs> sexy? <laughs> yeah. Stainless steel, bulletproof. I, I don't like the Who's going to shoot you, bro? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? Who's going to shoot you? You never know. Yeah, you, you never, never know. know bro. It's America. You live, you live in Florida, baby. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've got it out. I've got it at like 2 a.m. I'm fine. <laughs> it's shape like Girl. Bro, if somebody is going to shoot you, they're not going to do it in a truck. Florida is shaped like a gun? It is. Yeah. Oh, kind of, yeah, if you look at it. What? I mean, it's America. Everyone can buy a gun. So. <laughs> Literally. I, I know that. I knew that when I came here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Rishi, have you ever seen the Cybertruck? Yes, I do. And um, are you a fan of it? Well, I would say, yeah, different perspective uh, to look at it. Uh, I've been on, you know, even wow, though I, I didn't have any friends who own this or something. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get to force, you get an Uber, which is like EV mm-hmm. in overall perspective. Yeah. The first impression I got, the car was empty mm. <laughs> because you don't have a lot of electronics inside, right? Right. But at the same time, I was talking to one of the, you know, a uh, friend from a different state. Um, he has a, like, Tesla when he was trying to go for like a car wash mm. he actually don't know how to put it in a parking mode because you have to use the screen to put it in like a parking mode yeah on his model he, he had like you know some struggle on but you know he can use so it yeah that's what I, so what i was going is i mean these kind of new technology whenever it comes out it takes some time for yeah. people to understand there are mm-hmm. two different people one ready for exploring whatever option is out there like i have a lot of friends who just want a new phone when iPhone comes out, say, for example, iPhone That's me. 15. They <laughs> wait outside like for four or five hours, oh. which even if they pay me, I wouldn't do it. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I might I might be in a different category, but what my kind of way I would look at is I will wait for those people who they're doing like a good job because you mm. get opinions from them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so coming back to this Tesla, the Cybertruck, I did comment a lot on it mm-hmm. um, because designing can be a little better particularly with stainless steel i do follow few people who you know you find your own uh, people who you trust based mm-hmm. on their reviews right i felt the you know edges are very sharp maybe it's yeah. not that convenient for you know you can all cut the, the carrots people. exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that's you know would be scary will i invest that much money on it probably no and at the same time there are two more concerns that i felt if i am becoming like a ceo of another company mm. Um, you know the luggage space can be more 
Number one, because what, what space? Like a luggage, luggage. like if oh, you take yeah, yeah. you know bag baggage space or storage. Because the trunk is pretty small. Exactly. Yeah. Where when you looked at it, probably it's just you know suitable for two carry on or like two check in bags, not a lot. Yeah. Because if you think you're going to be a competitor for like pickup trucks on the other side, that's what they're targeting on. Mm -hmm. Not naming any company name, but still, <laughs> uh, you know that can be improved. And at the same time, I I felt as in a small safety concern that. In the cyber truck, particularly, you cannot see the the back, rear, like the yeah, the mirror. Yeah, that's the thing. Which yeah. was little, you know, they might have thought about it because that's a very simple safety <laughs> concern, right? It is. So probably they should work on it. But as people before talked about it too, it's in an early stage. It is. It will be definitely better because over time, I think people will slowly start moving towards EV. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I belong to a category where. I would choose a hybrid model. Mm. You know, later on we never know. It could not be me, I buy. <laughs> but it <Yeah>. could be <laughs> you know two generations after me, me uh, where I I believe my own house might have three to four EVs. It could be uh, you know uh, Tesla. Mm. Maybe there might be somebody uh, you Polestar. know version two, but we don't know. I yeah. I keep hearing about Lucid, uh, yeah. another side, yeah. which they They're the luxurious EV. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> so, as in what I would expect. Probably they should look into people who can afford it, well, make it little affordable. The thing is, <laughs> the Chinese EV, right. they are <coughs> they have like a twenty thousand dollars EV, which is crazy. Right, they're trying to overtake Tesla, and, and you know, for the price point, they really lower their car price so people can buy. And uh, you know, it's like, yeah, what do you think about the Tesla? Uh, I mean, the China Chinese EV. Yeah, I I mean. Uh, <laughs> not to take anything personal to them, but you know, whenever there is a new model comes in, uh -huh. I think we have a similar situation. I should mention it here just because you mentioned for the Chinese brand. Mm -hmm. India tried something like this called Tata Nano, mm. which is nothing but a very economical car. Is it EV? For a, it's not an EV, oh. but I'm targeting towards people who can afford it. Okay. Like a middle class, if you, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So what they did, they just manufactured, say, you know, uh, 100,000 cars. There were like people who has to apply for it. <coughs> and then if you get lucky, there is no other criteria. <coughs> like how it happens here for a green card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you get lucky, you will be picked to get that car. Mm -hmm. And my family was one because my father wanted to just try it. And then we looked at it. Of course, like what we see right now, mm -hmm. it was a new model. They were trying to, ha they had a good cause mm -hmm. to make it happen. Yeah. It was a decent car. Mm -hmm. If I think now, now I'm in a situation where I can afford a car, probably I won't get that because I already experienced it. Likewise, I think even Chinese one, uh, if they have a good motive, yeah, I'm sure there will be some drawbacks. It comes from, because this is not something, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, same for if you manufacture, you know, 100K cars. Yeah, It's like by time you will have manufacturing defects. So you cannot, if the reviewer had a good car, that doesn't mean everybody will have the same or there won't be any mechanical issue probably no mm -hmm. but these are batteries the one main concern as an engineer mm -hmm. or like a future scientist let me mm -hmm. put it that way i really s still think people who were are investing on ev or you know manufacturing people they should really consider how they can recycle the battery true mm. yes how yeah, important yeah. that's e-waste particularly because these days there is a huge concern yeah. Which probably we are not in the stage to, you know, understand what's going to happen. But it's, it's going to happen. At one point, it's going to hit us. Like, yeah. you know, everywhere is going to be EV. Where that, at that point, it will be like, you know, what's your efficiency? Rather talking about, do am I still going to go with motor or something? Yeah. But globally, if you look at it, I think all the governments are trying to implement these EVs, right? Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of uh, facilities that you have to create. It's not about just making the cars, which... Private industry will give yeah. direct, you know, source upon. Infrastructure is much needed. Charging station. Yeah. You you can buy on your own, but I think keeping <coughs> it like for public usage because whenever you talk about these kind of society-based implementation, mm -hmm. government does look at it. They yeah. will give you some chances, but at one point they're going to hit you crazy. Yeah. So EV is good. Knowing how dangerous battery could be, I would just give a pass there yeah mm -hmm. think about it it's yeah. your option if you belong that side 
choose your color if you like day go on that yeah if you like night go on that so yeah. well, from an engineering point of view i kind of nerded out for the cyber truck because mm-hmm. that's the t- like the time where i was kind of like doing a lot of like research on like aerodynamics and mm-hmm. stuff and like honestly aerodynamically the design is oh sorry aerodynamically the design is like very like perfect and it mm. almost seemed like you know like those designs that they make for wind tunnels mm. like they are like very raw and like like um, almost like ugly looking mm-hmm. and i feel like the cyber truck is just that and mm. they just like put it out and but i kind of nerded <coughs> out on it cuz i was like oh my god that's so cool that's like yeah. like, like it's the perfect aerodynamic like right. like the laminar flow for the True. laminar flow it's like yeah. perfect so I it's can, like in that i can way, connect myself you know if you give our talk to a kid and ask them to draw a no. car it's yeah. going to be boxes yeah. or yeah. curves yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is the the Cybertruck design is actually from Elon's son. Right. He actually drew the Cybertruck design then. Exactly. That is yeah. so oh my god, I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 So that's so, that's so it's from a kid's perspective. I mean, as in I'm not saying, you know, you might not it's just comes from nowhere kind of design mm-hmm. and you know, you, you look at it. Of course, they did all these kind of testing yeah, uh, based on perfect. what all it needs to be. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, as I said it's just uh you know if you like it you can uh go on and then yeah it's a, it's a you know uh there's a lot of haters about the trucks about the cybertruck design and there's uh people who love the design and uh, <coughs> every time i see the the comments of the cybertruck there's always people hate about the design you know i say Why? fuck it you know <laughs> <laughs> i don't give a f about you if you don't like the truck okay go drive oh. your old gasoline you know ford oh, truck Brian. you know yeah <laughs> Ryan's oh, cool guy. No, for real. <laughs> Follow <laughs> Ryan. Okay, I feel like as much as people like don't like electric vehicles, I can see why they don't. I feel like that's like, what can I say, good development and stuff. But like, I feel like the more important things that need development. And yeah. And the world is changing. Yeah, just in yeah. general. Some people yeah. want to stay what where they are. Exactly. Yeah. And <laughs> I think yeah, I think I think that's right. Um you know, I I'm so glad that I'm in a generation mm. uh, where I was able to see our family had a vintage car. Mm. I belong to that category. <laughs> I was able to see automatic transmission. Uh people who who like manual, sorry, but automatic <laughs> are much better here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was now, I you know, I'm you now even you. even though I'm not old, I mean in a way, yeah, during my, you know, long phase of life. <coughs> I believe I might even see flying cars. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a lot of companies. Exactly. Yeah. Drones are, are flying cars. <laughs> yeah. Air, air taxi. Air taxi. Yeah, air taxi yeah. is there. Yeah. And I think, uh, I mean, uh, uh, some kind of companies, they are also trying to do like. Three minutes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I will try to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Am- <laughs> like they are trying to do uh, ambulance, uh-huh. right? There are good causes out there. There yeah. are a lot of uh, startups they want to really uh, contribute on. Yeah. Mm. But the question that I'm going to end up is. If you rely on EV, mm. how long you have to wait for charging? Yeah. For long trips? It's getting shorter. <laughs> yeah, they that so these all questions are right now, but I'm sure if we are able to talk about it, yeah. people who They're invented they it, know yeah. what to expect. Yeah. They will be working on it. Probably it's not official yet, but uh, I'm sure by the end of my life I hope I'll see much better. <laughs> yeah. Much more question that I'll be able to raise later. Yeah, yeah. As, as as a fan of uh, Brian's podcast, <laughs> thank you, um, thank you so much. There's a yeah, I w- I watched it. Uh, there's people from the previous podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. who said they like the sound of like the <coughs> motor and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So there's that demographic that like you know they like that, and you can't bring them into EP. Yeah, like if it's for, like for now. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to Brian's podcast. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we are like two minutes uh, until the end. Uh, my one of my friend Risha, she brought up the. Uh, do you guys know Jojo Siwa? Oh. Have you guys seen the Jojo ah, Siwa's music video? Yeah. <laughs> Can we actually see that right now? Because I wanted to end that with the uh, the video, the reaction. Because I never yeah. seen it. She oh. told me to. I saw it this morning. She told me to watch it in the podcast, so and then we can you know see how the reaction is. No, you know, I've, I've, not <laughs> <laughs> I've not actually seen the video. I've I'm just know like based of TikTok clips. D- didn't she so put up the new music? Yeah, yeah. It's she, already up. She's like it's it's supposed to be it. like um uh like a step away from her Karma. like. Yeah, her yeah, let's see, yeah, let's see, let's she see. Let's she see. didn't write the song actually. Let's funny see. enough. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she told me like it's crazy music video or crazy music. Like how, like how, <laughs> you got it? like yeah. 
how open minded are you uh, with like uh, let's see, crazy let's see. stuff okay we'll see we'll see again Oh, what? Do you want to see it? Yeah. I mean... She went from butterflies and rainbows to that. Oh, the first... <laughs> I mean, the music video seems fine, but I don't know why it brought to so much attention. Oh. N- no, like, most of... Us that grew up <coughs> watching Dance Moms, Jojo. yeah, for real. Dance Moms, yeah. And she was so like rainbows and stuff, and now right, she's yeah. And the bow. <laughs> and now she's doing that. And, and she's masculine now, you know. Oh. Yeah, she's yeah, like she's she all identifies up. as up so masculine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, hope she has a bright future. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do they want you to react to it? Why do they want you to react to it? Because she thought it was funny music video. Okay, so she just wanted you to like. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. Just yeah. Okay, maybe okay. watch the whole video. I yeah, think maybe watch maybe the whole that's video. The interesting maybe I should. Because the song itself okay. is interesting. Yeah. To say the least. Yeah, I should uh, really get you guys uh, again on the next podcast yeah. or next yeah. next. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not guaranteeing it's next week, but you know, in the future podcast. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, I Subscribe <laughs> to Brian, bro. Because we only had uh, what, about Brian. forty minutes. <laughs> Brian, yeah. Yeah. it's such a such a short minutes, you know, yeah. to talk about. Brian, Brian, Brian. <laughs> I, I would like to shout out for all the people there at FILC, like oh. Amanda, Alex, <laughs> Betty, who all Mimi. coordinated and together <laughs> and like made it possible. Titi! Oh wait, there's and this also one woman that gave us marshmallows. Like she was oh such God. a sweet there's woman. You know I thought you were gonna say the mushrooms. <laughs> no, she gave us mu- <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> she gave us marshmallows. So we stole the we stole the marshmallows from like the table. That marshmallow shroom. Yeah, yeah, we stole no, no, it. <laughs> we stole it. We stole like, it. We stole the whole thing. And then she goes like, "Where are the marshmallows?" Yeah. And then we're like, "Oh, oh, we're about to get yelled at." And then she was like, oh, "Do you guys want more?" Then she got the whole tray and she was like, "Let me put more." And then yeah. she yeah. brought it back it to our table, yeah. which is really yeah. Cool. She was the one like in the video we were like yeah. Yeah. With. She was, she was yeah. In the video. You should put the video like. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like wherever you are, you're, you're an amazing woman. And special thanks to Gabby. Oh, mm. yeah. Gabby. we love you, Gabby. We love you. Yes. <laughs> She's in Miami right now, or I, I, I don't know. know. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> She's busy. We appreciate Gabby for you know uh, scheduling everything and yes. driving to us, driving to the Lake Plants and coming back. And also, who insert like video of Brian sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, Time I was laps. about to say uh, thanks to whoever who selected us, mm. who mm. gave this opportunity. It was fun. Grateful. Yeah, <laughs> so he- <laughs> yeah. and yeah. thanks, so Brent, so uh, for inviting so us. He- yeah. uh, it's so much fun. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So he- yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I would again like to thank you uh-huh. and also all the people at FLC, like mm. Angie, Amanda, yeah. Betty, all of them. Uh-huh. Thank you. And yeah, thank you. Hey, oh, let me get back to it because yeah. if someone's not continuing my podcast, I can go more. Hold up. Okay. Yeah. Also, thanks to Wicked for having us here. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. And hi. thank you to all of you. Oh my God, Come you guys. How are we <laughs> close <laughs> friends right now? Yes, friends forever. Aww. Yeah. I love you guys. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Not we. <really. laughs> Ew, what did I do to you? Guys, okay, we're yeah, friends. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. Friends. Aww, so I that's so. I feel like this is the. Are we? You know, everything. Yo, Ariana! <laughs> Ariana! <laughs> no game. Why didn't you come? <laughs> Ariana. Okay, so the good thing is, the uh-huh. person who's gonna, you know, come after me, like, th- there's a always a guy, friend of mine, Ryan. He did a show after me. Um. He's on here. He oh. usually comes at 6.50 to prepare his show. Mm-hmm. He's on here. We can go more if you guys want to. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah, let's if go. you guys have time. We have time. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is really awesome. Yeah, I know. I should start a podcast. <laughs> I mean, you can join our, you can join the Wicked. You know, I'm part of Wicked. Uh, you I are? came for like, yeah, I came oh. for one training, like mm. the DJ training, mm-hmm. and I just didn't show up after that. Um. I did the podcast training. Really? When? Yeah, like last year, because <coughs> I, pr- it's like from last three years, I've been talking to uh, start a podcast about uh, space science and astronomy and mm. calling different guests and yeah. offices. Yeah. But I haven't started yet. So well, we'll see. If you want, uh, you can join my podcast and then you know bring all of your friends and talk. We can talk about things. 
girl. <laughs> if you want to talk about theories, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I I I was I read Marvel comics since I was young, and so I watched a lot of like like after that I watched a lot of like po- like what like documentaries. Yeah. Like ancient aliens. Oh, like all I the see. all yeah. the celestial. Honestly, stuff. I love that. You give me the Ka- Ka- Kamala Khan from the oh, Kamala Khan vibe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I'd rather be someone else. But it's fine. <laughs> if you had, had any Girl. time like shortage of person, just text me. I can keep talking, talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. about know. everything. Yeah. So no, yeah. <coughs> Rishi's expert. We are the expert for theories of ex- ex- No, I'm talking about the extra ter- extraterrestrial life. Oh, oh yeah. let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about exactly. that. Exactly. Oh, you want to talk about that? Yeah, sure. Let's go. No, you want to talk about that? that? Do you think we it's can talk about, that. Talk about yeah. what? Do, do so you think aliens exist? No, I really believe exist. aliens exist. Why? Because Why? honestly, no one can fight with me on this. Aliens Because math exist. exists. Aliens exist. Math no. exists. Yeah, because math exists. Math. Like maths. <laughs> like mathematics. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking about. Not go math. This is actual <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> math. <laughs> not math. <laughs> no, you crazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> So crazy. Okay. <laughs> no, because like you know, probability exists. Mm. So like probability-wise, if we are here, like if there is like life in this planet, mm. there's like trillions and trillions of other planets. So probability-wise, there is like there's a probability. Co- yeah. That's probability-wise, yeah. yeah. there's definitely at least one other like species, mm. and that's like that's really not true. There's there's probably like millions and trillions. Yeah, because of species. Uh, you know, if the microorganism exists, that's an alien. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it like they found like microorganisms in like Titan. Mm. Right? Right. And yes, bro- yes, yes, in yes, Titan, yes. yeah, we so are practically aliens here. True, yeah, we <laughs> are aliens to another species yeah. of aliens. And for yeah. real, yeah. for real. Also, yeah. uh, to that concept exist. of uh, are there aliens or not? Yeah. So it's like uh, you go to the ocean or beach, mm-hmm. you take a cup or a mug, you pull out some water, and you say that there is no whale. Mm. And this basically all it says that we have not been able to dig a lot more into it so yeah. as there are more statistics and probability the said sign and people the researchers are still working on it and by the end of 2030 or 35 we should be having a pretty good answer about it when we would be able to analyze a lot more data i'm sure we have re- research yeah but they're not revealing it to the public but wow. but guys <laughs> like if it's out there like what if it doesn't want to be found Okay. Then they're not. Like, why are we it finding also, it? Why? Uh, why aren't we content with what we have? Because humans want to colonize. Oh right. my god! Not <laughs> <laughs> because you want to colonize. There's also like the fact that science is different, and they might be advanced, and they might help us develop. Wha- yeah. wha- wha- what 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 de- development do you want? <laughs> like flying cars for once. Yeah, flying cars. Like there's more to life than flying cars. <laughs> Traveling across the world of space. Find out. It's I think I'm gonna add my perspective there. Yeah, um, let's go. So I'm going to be biased in that. Um, you know, there are people who are interested in knowing whether there are aliens or not. Mm. But the one very clear answer would be the, you know, figure of alien in our mind. That's definitely not true. Number one. What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Mind control? Like, you know, it, it has three fingers. Oh, yeah, yeah of, course, of course, of course. Oh, no. Of course. Number of course. one. Number two, as you guys mentioned too, organisms are going to be there. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, in any planet or something, whether it is suitable for habitat, we don't know. And even if there is, let's say, point or nano meter or nano percent oh. possibility of aliens <laughs> available, <laughs> I don't think they Brian are gonna. Snorted something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they are gonna care for us because. <laughs> I think we they do. Uh, no, they don't. I don't think so. The reason no, being, I think either no, it's t- either or, right? It, here you cannot go like, you know, there is a possibility on. It's not a bell curve. Uh, this is not a known factor, so it has to be either like fifty-fifty, meaning they are interested or they are not interested. How is because either they are going to be so much advanced mm. than us, or they don't even know that where they belong to, which is on the <laughs> negative shade. For us, since we tend to grasp knowledge, what you see, what you hear, we if you never heard of aliens, do you think you will ever think there is something else? Like by just yourself? Yes. Because they can no. be hiding in the okay. dark matter. Okay. Yes. Listen, listen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think this kind of information will just be floating around, like whether there is a ghost or not. Yeah. Is there going to be a proper evidence to prove it? Okay. Even though some people might have it. How public is it? Like what Brian told us. Yeah. Well, to be honest, yeah, as the also much like water, 
life exists because of water, right? And then there's ice yeah. in the water, uh, ice in the moon, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. We yeah. literally found ice on the south side of the moon. Yeah. But basically, even in Mars and everything, they said like the life existed, but due to the hot, like more warmth, it like <laughs> vanished. Yeah. Atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure and everything. But we can like imagine it's our solar system, right? If we go beyond Milky Way galaxy and go like different galaxies, there might be some planets where like really cold. So even with water, their life cannot exist there. Mm. But there might be some planets where there is suitable amount of heat, where it is suitable for the life to exist. Like Earth? From water. It's, it's yeah. called yeah. a Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks mm. zone. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. yeah, there will be people like ice walkers too, if you say. <laughs> but <laughs> if, <laughs> if I just if want to correct <laughs> GOT there, you possible. know. It's also possible. Yeah. And it's also possible that there are people who are super developed and are traveling across galaxy as we speak right now. <laughs> No, and you know, like, um, there's this thing where, like, y- like you said that they won't be curious of us. I think, like, anyone with, like, sixth sense, like, because that kind of brings up this curiosity. Because if we, like, find a microorganism in the sea, we are, like, we have so much curiosity to go mm. and, like, research on it and stuff like that. Yeah. And so, in that way, I feel like every, like, organism, any kind of aliens around the world, like, they're trying to, like, like develop and they're trying to find out and, like, study yeah. other... Species. Do you to think that they? That yeah, go on. To that, it really matters. Like, what is the definition of alien? Mm-hmm. And for example, a microorganism. If you call them alien, they would not have a developed brain to think. Mm-hmm. Likewise, like what, like to be curious about. Like mm-hmm. we are humans. Mm-hmm. We true, are curious. We have brain. We it got developed. And <coughs> so it really depends on that factor. <coughs> also, as Rishi mentioned about the figure that we have in our brain about what alien looks like, like this green k- k- creature. No, it's not going to be like that. W- with uh, with <laughs> like really, little really little. large <laughs> eyes and stuff. <laughs> 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 so it's like scientifically, we, we actually came to that uh, image of alien scientifically, like not scientifically, but I would say computing. Yeah, like how, how we got there? Like how so did we... So for example, if... It, it's an assumption that okay that life alien that we are imagining it is an inte- intelligent life so if that's an intelligent life that means that they have been working a lot on screens for example okay we see humans ahead like few centuries up ahead if we see humans what we would look like mm-hmm. so we would be having like big eyes mm-hmm. because we would be just being on screen and things like that and for example our fingers this finger do not have any purpose like not a lot of purpose so over time with evolution we would not have the fingers and depending on that how we can evolve so that's how if we we see all those parameters we develop that figure of an alien how it might look like Mm. but the assumption is that it's an uh, artificial life that is intelligent and more scientifically advanced than us so mm-hmm. it really depends on various parameters mm-hmm. and things like that. Do you and think um, what's the definition? <coughs> Do you think um, aliens can be invisible and just walk around here? That's it's possible. Can be search, you know, can be studying us while we're not aware of that, you know. I would not say that though. No. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. We don't know. It's so possible. They yeah. use like even <coughs> Marvel. They use the mirror technology. Would you Would you say <laughs> angels? Like, if you're religious, <laughs> would you say angels are aliens? Yes, no, that's more of a mythical, uh, what do you call, uh, spiritual being, right? right. Yeah. But what if aliens are spiritual? Mm-hmm. No, my thing is I'm agnostic, so I don't <laughs> believe in religion. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like someone who's like, show me the proof, and I'll believe in mm-hmm. like God. Yeah, yeah. And for now, I don't see your proof. I see like a like a. I think we talked about this during yeah. camp. Like we briefly touched on it. I see like a societal like construct. Like religion is just like so that society can like progress mm. into something better. And I don't see it exactly as like. Uh, maybe there's a higher being who like you know was like or not even higher being a alien that was like okay this worked for my society and mm-hmm. like maybe you guys can like try it or something mm-hmm. like that but like yeah. I feel like that's the extent that I think of religion as yeah. I don't think it's like we have to pray to another being yeah. when they're also mm-hmm. another like being so I feel like for me I'm <laughs> like very religious yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I re- we literally talked about this in camp yeah, where yeah. I was we're talking about how she believes in physics mm. and I was telling her like everything we do like the bible said we're made in god's own image and mm. everything we do is reflection that mm. there's a maker because right. we are l- literally makers we create yeah. we don't like big bang theory everything we well we, we also destroy too scratch yeah. yeah we destroy Energy. with our hands Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like i feel like everything the sun rising the sun setting mm. 
is a definition of a maker. There's mm. somebody, there's something like a greater power yeah. out there, bigger than us. It's like a you know Minecraft, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and like the fact <laughs> that there's yeah. more proof of Jesus than yeah. aliens out there, mm. like historic wise. Mm-hmm. Is no, I to I definitely religion. believe that yeah. a guy called Jesus existed. I think that he was a model person who wanted like, because honestly, like I believe, like I said, the societal construct thing, where yeah. I think that the Bible and like the Quran and like all these books, like they can be used for like governance, because mm. they're not. Tr- they, I don't think they mean harm. They want like society to progress. They want people to be good and not sin, right? Yeah. And I yeah. think that's why like religion is definitely a very important thing mm. but i don't think i don't see a role for god because physics mm. exists because there is a reason for the big bang there's a reason why planets are created mm. there's a reason why all these like physics science happens and yeah how did the thing came no, the no, no, okay. <laughs> so the big bang there's like a lot of theories yeah. yeah i think the one that i know is the one where there's like it all like collided into Man. like one thing yeah, and one then, thing <coughs> and then it's it exploded right? and but what was before big bang what exactly. was before the big yeah. bang? No, no, I can, I can like explain that too. Cause, mm-hmm. uh, if you think about that, like, uh, like they say that energy is like not destroyed or like created, mm-hmm. right? Created, yeah. So I, f- in <coughs> my opinion, they say that the universe is constantly going through an expansion and contraction, mm. like kind of cycle. Mm. So yeah. before the big bang, there was obviously a contraction and expansion. So the big bang happened. It's just like a, mo- it's just like a cycle. R- yeah, it's like a cycle. Oh, it's a reaction that just keeps happening. So you were saying in the far future. Will be cramped in yeah, like this one, fall. Like right now, it's oh my expanding. gosh! And I right feel like expanding. everything you're talking about right now causes you to believe that that happened. Mm. It's based on theories yeah. and yeah. also theories. like and you yeah, yeah, yeah. That expansion theories. and contraction. I would say it's one of the possible way the u- uh, universe will evolve. We are not mm. sure, yeah, but there's it is many one of theories. those ways. If you look at how can evo- uh, universe evolve. And even with the Big Bang Theory, one of the other thing is like matter and antimatter. Mm. And mm-hmm. it it's like a stable thing, but it got really unstable because of that one proton, I would say. Yeah. And then it created the Big Bang Flash. Mm. Boom. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I think I explained this analogy yeah. where mm-hmm. it was like during the camp where in the beginning of time, we all thought like, if you look at mythology throughout the years, like they would first always like, uh, consider the sun as a god mm. because at that time they didn't know what the sun was but then right. as science evolved we knew that sun is like a it's just a gas it's like a star right yeah it's just a star it's yeah. a gas like yeah so we stopped praying to it and we saw it in more of like a scientific way yeah. again yeah. like i think we talked about this in one of my, in my engineering classes where uh we were talking about how the eclipse was like thought to be like a punishment. end of the war yeah, yeah. Punishment the world, yeah. from god so people like sacrifice things and stuff like that but as they found out that it was like scientific and it's like these planets just like the natural know, thing exactly it's a natural yeah. thing they yeah. stopped like praying to that stop sacrificing stuff right yeah. so i think that's like how religion is like i think it's just like what people believe and mm. once science kind of develops to a point where religion is like kind of obsolete i mm-hmm. think that's like yeah where it'll go what were you going to say yeah i mean everything you're saying like mm. it was science and people were learning i'll call it spreading the gospel mm-hmm. like people were knowing more and more about jesus and how and god and how he's the creator and mm-hmm. how he made these things for like s- sunlight mm-hmm. for day and yeah. mm-hmm. moon for night and like i definitely understand where you're coming from mm-hmm. you know and i believe i i respect your beliefs mm-hmm. but religion is not governance or anything mm-hmm. 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 religion is a relationship yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. it's yeah. a it's an interesting things to talk about about the you know no for real and we can talk about <laughs> it all the time we're oh yeah about yeah because yeah. really <laughs> religion has been part yeah. of our human history for a long time it has yeah 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 because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. you know go on if you're talking about the creation you know the sun is literally a nuclear <coughs> fusion reaction right now going on there right yeah so yeah. it's a reaction so someone did set it up and i consider this as a product that exploded and it just fission is just going happening so it's a reaction so there was some pro- uh, reactants and now we are the products mm. that's but how it can be created as well how how do you uh explain how some other animals can communicate but us animals can communicate it's just how evolution happened yes, evolution, evolution. <laughs> but like how, how do you explain <laughs> it how do you explain uh, it? Like what formula do oh yeah. you formulate for uh, so to explain that there, i think there are studies on it because uh, like i think it's the same like concept for death 
and what happens after death and that's basically the fact that your brain is like you supply blood to your brain and there's chemical reactions happening mm. and that's how you think that's how you do stuff that's how you communicate mm. and once the blood s- the supply stops your the reactions in your brain stop and that like in my opinion that's your soul right your brain is your soul that's where everything mm. like you think and you do everything with so once the blood stops y- there's no more chemical reactions there's no more soul so what happens after death nothing you, your brain dies you, you die it. and you wait for the coming of Jesus Christ yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Because I, yeah. you know, in one night I literally stay stay up until like three a.m. thinking about the death. Nothing like, happened. And what ha- what you know what's going to happen after? You become fossil fuel. <laughs> 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 it, it it really is a dark <laughs> thought, like you're death you're and everything. True. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the second after we pass away, yeah, it's gonna be like dark? Yeah, we don't see anything, or we just okay. We are no like longer existing yeah. at that point. Yeah. At that point. See, yeah. I- imagine as like a. F- fan that's like turned on mm. then you turn it off and it just stops right. yeah. but it's if yeah. you can gradually. turn on yeah <laughs> gadgets, it's, it's okay sometimes gradually <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sudden okay it depends on I the know, f- quality of fat okay <laughs> there's a yeah. so but yeah. i'm saying that the only difference is like we can turn the fan back on but it's not like to the human once it's off it's just stops it but just they're trying to turn it back on cryogenics yeah. Mm. There's a uh, interesting cases about life and death. Um, there are some cases in the human history that people passed away and you know went you know came back alive. Oh yeah. And I th- you know it, which explains they were dead mm-hmm. and now they are alive. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. Like what happened between that time po- time frame? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them like describe miracles and like seeing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dying, going to hell. There's this man who uh, describes going to hell, yeah. like and how it feels. And like your score, y- like your skull crashing, and like mm. you can feel everything, and everybody is screaming and stuff. He was like, it's very. He like passed away in his living room, mm. and um, he was taken to hell, and like like he a fire inferno fire. Yeah, hell? like he was taken to hell. He was a preacher, so this man oh wow. was like a okay. man of God, a preacher. Okay, and like he was just taken to hell mm. just for the experience of it. Interesting. And yeah, it's like on YouTube and everything. Yeah. Interesting. I have a story yeah. to add. See, uh, it's like I recently discovered a story. I came across a story across like um, online. It was about a guy. Ga- uh, it was about a dude. He was like just seven years old, mm-hmm. and in like it's back in 1980s something, and he was born with a scar on his head. And over the time, like the moment he started speaking, he said like he did not belong there, and he was talking about another life in another s- district, another city. Mm. After fifth, uh, like after like f- uh, they reached out, they're like concerned and like they reached out to the things that he was talking about. They found out that there was a person who was shot in a shop, his own shop. I think I heard the story before. Yeah, yeah. And he was shot, and he's uh, the things that the child said were really true, but like fifty years before. Mm. So, so he there have been some like reincarnation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. never know what's happening. So there's it's crazy. Both bad, uh, like. Um, something that is scientific and something that's just like abnormal. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a, like a <laughs> level of things that we, you know our science cannot explain, yeah. which is kind of fun to talk about in the podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go, yeah, yeah. Do, uh, religious visits, mm. like non-religious podcasts. That would be yeah. cool. Like uh, exploring spirituality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. I would, I would say. An exchange would be really interesting conversation, mm-hmm. and uh, a lot of times we are unaware um, of where do <coughs> we draw the line of um, something that's magical or unexplainable and mm. sciences. So having those discussion out there is really important. Yeah, but yeah. Even with the eclipse, if we see, um, we talked about eclipse. Mm-hmm. I would like to just add some things about it. Uh, back in India, where I belong from, mm-hmm. things like eclipse is seen as an omen. Mm. Like there are things that you should not do during eclipse, like the bad luck. Huh? The bad luck. Bad luck. Yeah. You cannot eat during the eclipse. You should should not see the eclipse. You mm. should not cut the vegetables and things mm. like that. Just like close the doors and stuff like that. And especially if you're pregnant, mm. you should not see it or do mm. anything during the eclipse. Uh, and me and other my team back in India space and in, uh, space Surat and space India mm-hmm. we work towards uh, empowering and just spreading the awareness about the same. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times what we have done is uh, we go out make people see the eclipse and we also serve food at the same time to mm-hmm. break certain me- myths. 
and one of the explanation where I ca we came from, like me and the educators, we were just discussing about why people believe that A clubs should not be watched and stuff like that. Why is there fear? Mm. So scientifically back, um, we came upon that Rishi, that they, the one who used to meditate, study sciences, they see that okay seeing the eclipse <laughs> is not good for your eyes like if you see it unaided like mm -hmm. if you do not have proper equipments like solar filter and if you see the eclipse you see <coughs> the sun your eyes will get damaged the yeah. retina the screen it will get damaged because there is a lens in our eyes right. that we all know and yeah i'm sure you might have seen the experiment in the video of how the leaf burn if you have the mirror and mm. the leaf starts burning yeah. if it's focused so I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people used to not believe that scientifically. So mm. what the Rishi started doing is like the only way people will do certain things. <laughs> not <laughs> 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 okay. okay, Rishi. Yeah. The Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> the, Rishi. <laughs> the, Rishi. the previous yeah. Rishi spirit is on me now. So <laughs> 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 okay, okay, that's, that's nice. Um, but yeah. So it's like started if if you want people to follow certain thing, you develop fever, fever, mm. uh, fear, yeah. not fever. <laughs> <laughs> no, so mm, yeah, that's a very valid point. Um, yeah. That brushes up all the uh, previous conversations we had. What I think is, I think at one point exactly what uh, uh, Dia was saying before. They just want to come up with some kind of reasoning behind. Mm. If you look yeah. at you know each religion. Um, you know, even though I'm not into that much, mm. those are kind of some, let me call it rules or limitations. It evolves over time. You know, my previous two generations, they like the Orthodox family, right? So mm. you won't even, there are a lot of bad things they follow too, which you shouldn't be proud of saying, you know, you cannot talk to those kind of people. Class, all those goes into picture. Mm. But again, human mind is something which is so advanced that we just dwell into ourselves. at one point when there is a right time you will explore all those and religious people if you see i mean as i said they do both good and bad things good thing they still tell you like you know um, even though it is made with like a weird story mm. there will be a proper scientific reasoning behind mm -hmm. where probably not a lot of people will be asking why mm -hmm. right when i was a kid probably i just follow what my parents say mm -hmm. yeah. whatever you the route that you belong to will be somebody else's like you know roots at one point because you learn something by what you look what you hear again that's how human brain always goes into <coughs> and then if you try to change something that's going to be a huge thing for others saying oh yeah you know that's how i used to follow my parents used to follow yeah it just keeps going around and around and uh just thinking of how brain works, we also talked about this alien and all those stuff, religion, all these. Yeah. If you think this, I think everybody will be going over at least, you know, most often than other things that we talked as an alien and stuff is that you get dreams, right? Even you sleep. You might see some faces which we don't even know or we might have seen something. If you can imagine, mostly the faces will be blurred or either the face that you have seen before morphed in a way that's what AI are doing these days you just yeah. give it some data and it creates on its own yeah so there are powerful tools among us and what we care if you if i if somebody shares what they care to me i don't care right i listen mm -hmm. i listen in general but realistically to heart one one if they are really blood related to me or something I care to an extent. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not even going to listen or something, but it's just how well you take it. If you think from, you know, if Earth is like a mother, giving an example, mm. from its perspective, the time being that we are running into, we are like a small, I don't even want to call it as a dot because I don't even know whether we are qualified to say that. From its time, there are some calendars which they <laughs> talk about how the planets evolved, all those. From its perspective, we are nothing. Yeah, that's why it's called <laughs> infinite available time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Brian. Yeah. <laughs> but because time is infinite and it's valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And but if you follow good path, if you want to, the only thing you could do is just tell good things mm. out. Mm. Because if I don't do it now, maybe I'll be a reason. Thousand years later, somebody will be following my saying. I don't like what previous people said. Whether Is you she? take it or not. 
yeah my name will be keep going around like somebody <laughs> will be telling rishi said i'm like no i didn't say that do you think uh, <laughs> i like that idea because um you know this isn't going on youtube do you think youtube will be exist in thousand years well i think it will in be some form yeah in some form <coughs> as what she said maybe it won't be called mm-hmm. as youtube or something but you know i if hope you it does you take it out as a common term i would just call it gossip because it's mm. going to be there everywhere at one point it was my mom and my aunt who live next to my house where they talk about what's going around they want to they introduce it to 10 people that was a medium called something else which mm. i you know and then they wanted to spread it to 100 more when you go into these kind of religious events you get to talk to people yeah and then once the priest or whoever father from the pastor or anybody if they know the whole village know yeah. if the yeah. whole village know you tend to move from one bubble to another like right. us we were from a different country people over here they might have not even heard about us but now we tell them so we change their perspective right so because you just keep yeah. changing changing will i be what i'm talking today in a year probably no i'll be like i don't know why i am why i did that degree you know <laughs> it changes yeah. why because my circumstance will be completely off at that point hmm. So I might not even like my childhood because maybe I had a good undergrad, you know, mm. that kind of scenario. Yeah. So I think it's just how you look at it that day. I think even today when we are talking about how did the week go, mm. they were like this week went good, let's just stop there and enjoy the moment. Yeah. So I think it all goes back on how we look at it. And then in terms of what people said previously, how you take it, I think it all goes to very specific on I might like a person whatever he says I agree. Mm. He might be wrong but bias. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bias so Are true. you I I think <laughs> it could be the same for everybody right on how you look at it. If somebody new people who are talking you might still listen but will you trust them completely until unless they show evidence probably no. Yeah. So <laughs> I believe in people okay. <laughs> I believe in that. What are you saying? What are you saying? Even random people, I care about them. Even Ruth <laughs> does. Okay. <laughs> Were you saying what something? You Were you gonna say something? No, no, she no, hasn't no. said anything. I want to know what she <laughs> wants. Huh? Like she, she was been trying to say something for the longest. She was yeah. like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, what, what, on, is what is it? What is it? Let's go. It was so many topics behind this. Okay, okay. Catching. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, opinion. okay. The one that I do remember is like things like reincarnation or like someone who died for a few minutes and went to hell. Mm-hmm. Personally, it doesn't make sense to me because as as an Adventist, as an Adventist, mm. I believe like once you die, you're just like gone. Mm. So I I don't think you go to hell immediately. So like dying for a while, you say you're going to hell. I don't think that actually happened. About yeah, about <laughs> about the concept. Would you live forever? Would you like to live forever? Like your body is gone, <laughs> but <Omnipotent. laughs> like, would you like to would put you? your mind to the clone, or you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, cause okay, I feel like living forever. Like if everyone else around you that you know is dying and like meeting new people over and over, right? I don't think I'd want to live forever. Yeah. But if like it's <laughs> me plus other people that I know, maybe that that feels more. Like I feel like it makes more sense. No, you know, you know what's interesting about the living forever thing. You know, yeah. cryogenics. There is a company in mm. America, and apparently, one thousand people. I think one thousand people, like, wrote their name to what's, be. What's the company? I don't know the name of the company, but like, I saw like a st- like a. St- <laughs> bro, let me check. Like, I know that I saw like something where like one thousand people have already like signed their name for to, for cryogenic sleep. What is it? What is a cryogenic? It's basically sleep? like they are like frozen under like sub zero temperatures oh, okay. and. So when like humanity advances like to a point where they can reincarnate not where does he reincarnate uh can we like um wake up yeah, yeah like yeah. Ra- so it's like a up, it's like a captain america yeah, yeah. Jump exactly. but the question is america, would yeah. like life be worth living if you knew yeah, you were not gonna die yeah like but it's voluntary based so mm. they chose to want to no 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 like Brian's question like would you want to live t- forever <laughs> like I'm oh. asking would life be worth living if you knew you're going to live forever okay, honestly I have this like very like strong <laughs> thirst for knowledge and I kind of want to live longer than like human experience. I would love to do that too oh. like, right actually like uh, I think about the clone technology too and you know if uh, if the technology advances and oh there's a Brian Park you know clone of myself <laughs> I would love to you know keep living forever until the Clone doesn't want to. I, I don't know. Mm. But like, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> it might, there's something weird about infinity, mm. like just being alive, yeah. your whole life. Like the thing is, the thing is, the good thing about uh, infinite amazing. life is, I can keep making podcasts. Oh. Yeah, I know <laughs> what you're saying. Like <laughs> knowing that I can live forever and like know, see everything that happens in the future. Because I know people who live like in the nineties, like died back then, would want to be here and see EVs yeah. being made, being seeing YouTube, even the internet. Because most of them didn't get to see it. So yeah. I think. To live to get to experience everything, I think I'd, imagine I'd doing this podcast for like 10,000 podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, as as much as you experience the good, yeah. you also experience the bad. True, like, there's a lot of evil things that's so just like happening in the world. And yeah, yeah, I no. just wouldn't want to live here. I, I agree <laughs> with them. Um, it's like the thing that you have infinitely, people don't care about it, and mm. yeah, for real. Yeah, exactly. It's like, like the sun. Water, how many sun, people care about this? If the sun rises or not, or like how many people care if we have enough oxygen or not, or exactly. enough water. The thing is, sun Can will cool down in the far, far future. Did, did you know that? Yeah, it but like right faces. now, <coughs> you know, it's like here in the Wicked Studio. Mm. Like, imagine if you just you always walk in mm-hmm. and the lights are on. Yeah. Do you even know who switches on the lights? What do you like, mean? Like, like you always. It's like a room. <laughs> you walk in and the lights are always on. Right, like you only notice the lights were o- 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 on mm-hmm. once they're off, and you're like, "Who t- turns on the lights?" You I know? do, and it's like the same as. <laughs> 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 it's an example. She's Brian. trying to be Let me cook. <laughs> Let me cook. <laughs> Let me cook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get with the program. <laughs> no, but but actually, the next yeah. uh, sun phase is like the giant, um, the orange sun or something. The right, the red giant, giant, red giant, and so it will like it will engulf yeah. Earth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we all yeah. know that yeah. the Earth, the sun's gonna explode. I don't believe it won't that, ex- explode. It will expand, expand and, and go yeah. up. Yeah. No, yeah. and it will eat us basically. That no, is I why. So. That <laughs> is why we should go multiplanetary. Like what's Elon Musk doing? Building a starship to go to you know Mars. You can't run. You can't run supportive away from of. your doom, <laughs> which I'm very supportive of. You I can't run away from your doom. I, I don't want to run away from my doom. <laughs> I wanna I wanna research and explore. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm curious. Oh, the best that. <laughs> I, uh, like I just imagine like one day I'll meet you in the sky and I'll be like I told you about this man named Jesus <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't want to believe me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a series uh, by Apple uh, TV called The Foundation. Mm. Ooh. Uh, it's very interesting. It's about clones. Yeah. And it's about like basically after like um, humans kind of colonize different planets mm-hmm. and it's like the the main like colonizers. Or like what do you call that? The imperial like people. Mm-hmm. They are like clones of like the first king or something because mm-hmm. they're like they believe him to be the best like you know like ruler and then they cloned him. Interesting. But they kind of show how the different clones have like their own mind and how they change and how they evolve. Mm-hmm. I just think it's humans will never Watch be it. able to make life. We do make life. We do. How? Yeah. Babies. No, like, that's different. Like, <laughs> that's, that's Go, with Brian. It. That's with it. I I'm feel kidding, like kidding. we'll just never be able to create, like, life. Like a clone? Like a clone. Mm. Well, if, that, if there's a technology, I think it's possible. If I lock you in this room and say, create water without water, how would you? I mean, water? I don't have a resource to create water. Well, exactly. If he knows and that, I, I like don't think he's going to be an ember huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> If he knows how to make water, <laughs> I'll be the yeah. god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the thing. He'll be the new like, god. I just feel like humans <laughs> will never be able to create life. Mm. Um, no matter how hard they try. The in the air. Huh? You can't create water from the moisture in the air. You've seen like without water, like moisture in the air is technically the water. Air. I feel like there's a way because it is like chemis- uh, chemistry, like. It is like like I put you in a oxygen. tight room and say. Oh, I can make it. I feel we, like it's we, we spit it. Oh, let's go. <laughs> that, that's not water. That's, <laughs> that's spit. Gross, okay. Bro. That's, that's H two O, right? <laughs> like pure water, pure water to drink. <laughs> I, I think about. it is possible. Okay. <laughs> I think it's possible. No, uh, not body fluids. Mm. Yeah, not body yeah. fluids. I'm talking about like ke- like if you give. I me feel like, like we should do this. We should like reaction. make it like lock you in like a chemistry Yeah, you have lab. to give me the resources. Actually, no, 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 no. Without resources. Without resources. Why would, well, how would I be able to make you resources? Yeah, resources. exactly. And that's the, it's the same thing. Like, how are you able, how are you going to be able to make life if you can't even make water? Well, for the clone technology, we have the water. technology, <laughs> yeah. which is a resource to make it happen. Exactly. Yeah. It's possible. It's possible. That's it's what I'm saying. Well, uh, it's uh, possible uh, in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> you're going to have like five kids and be like, hey, are there any clones? Like, I walk up to you and be like, well, don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to make 11 kids, so. Oh, Brian! <laughs> Brian's that? wife, eleven Cricket, kids, bro. Yeah. A cricket team. <laughs> Shout out to Brian's <laughs> wife. Okay. I know that's, that's not a lot of work. <laughs> I'm trying to Good luck. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying that's to. That's what he said. I'm trying to, you know, make 
a full soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. True. A basketball and, team. And, and you know, <laughs> human population is going down. Oh, so I, want, so I want to contribute to that. South Korea is like... I know. South Korea is dying. Like, yeah, it's dying. It's dying. Yeah. Singapore too. It's oh, sad. Like, hey, there's Singapore there's is like 0.7. So it's crazy. Bro, all Africa the Singapore... Really yeah, uh, Singapore people. is. Come on, make babies. I'm the guy. We're making... We're making we're gonna make be ba- Africa. Ah! <laughs> Did you say you're the guy? <laughs> I'm the guy who... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know, <laughs> guys. I know like ten people who would want Brian. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm kidding, the guy I'm who kidding. supports I'm a kidding. lot of uh, you know I'm population. Brian's coming, guys. Singapore. Stay <laughs> safe. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, you are so gross. <laughs> I cannot. Cut that out. <laughs> Do not cut it out. Just no, no, no. Keep it. You know, you know, probably uh, some people from Singapore can watch this and then Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. going to make my friends watch this. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I I'm going to I'm on a podcast. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about aliens. <laughs> watch me. And they can they could come here and talk about, you know, having multiple babies. Yeah, I yeah. they don't want to. Like from my friends, like Why they do they not want to? I don't know. It's like a thing right now where they're like very career focused and I feel like I don't want to get a I don't want to have a baby. So I want lots of babies. Cuz yeah. I I want to I want to <laughs> devote I my be time. A mom. It's like the more I grow, the more mm. I just like Okay, want yeah. My sister's like that. I'm just like mm. mom. Motherly. Mom, yeah, this <laughs> baby, this <laughs> that. Then there's like uh, I like know. I want to devote my time to research. I don't want to mm. like waste nine months. Like well, it's not, it's not wasting. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's wasting. I mean, You're it's different for different people. Okay. Like to me, okay. I want to be a to soccer mom. Different. I want it all, guys. Soccer mom. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'll, I'll support you. Rishi, would you like uh, <laughs> multiple kids? Like, how many kids do you t- kids do you want? Well, I'm not gonna do a lot of hard work on that. <laughs> Probably, you know, <laughs> just uh, smart work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think, I think it, it, you know, maybe I, I might talk like an old guy as usual. Uh, but I think it's a mutual concern, right? So you, mm. you, I, it would be a huge conversation that I, would, you know, potential future wife, yeah. right? Um, you know, just as a fun fact, if you want to talk, probably a boy and a girl, just to keep it. Oh, you know, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, you know, but I do know a lot of cases where they keep trying, and then six boys, <laughs> and then ah, they eventually give up. Or six girls. <laughs> yeah, like it <laughs> could be on the opposite <laughs> side too. That's crazy. But six I think crazy. even that's even crazy. you know, just for one, uh, I think it's a huge decision uh, that you decide with your better half whenever mm. it happens. That at least you have a control on thinking about, you. you know, when you want to really be involved on those kind of thing. Because mm. I think as it, it has like a social responsibility because I'm going to introduce somebody to the world. I don't want to give like, you know, shitty workout. Yeah. Uh, if I, <laughs> if, if I thing, try yeah. to do my daily routine in a composed way, mm. then this is even better than that, that I look forward like a lot on. Because that's where you are, uh, you know, family is going to be projected not mm. one but on both sides too so yeah uh, i think two kids for now uh, two kids, because okay. because you guys talked about your own country's population i think we already you know <laughs> are the number one now so india's sad okay good thing india's population is going above china yeah right now we are like number one that's crazy yeah i was like but the one thing i should add is i mean india would never do like China did as in you can have only two kids or yeah, one yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. India would never do it yeah. because it's rich in culture, right? As you all know, from one to another place, there are a lot of superstition behind it. Mm-hmm. And at the same point, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, they might not have an opportunity to have a kid. Mm-hmm. In that case, if I belong to that one, I don't mind, uh, you know, adoption. Uh, adoption. Yeah. Mm. I'll adoption. be fine with that. But again, mm. same, same. I I'm sign my side, but I want the other same. side to be accepting yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I got I, that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do adoption. You want? <laughs> no, Brian <laughs> wants little Brian's. <laughs> I want. Choice that option. So, so since you said you don't, you don't do adoption. I don't what want. If, Tiny Brian's. What if huh. the love and kid concept didn't work? What like are you gonna do? Like my if you're saying my wife couldn't infertility. Both, both. It could be yeah. on both sides. It's a thing right now. It's a problem. Yeah. Like people are becoming more infertile. Birth control. <laughs> birth control. Yeah, yeah. Brian doesn't need birth control. <laughs> <laughs> he he wants eleven. He wants eleven. If my wife cannot have a baby, I'll figure out. Oh, <laughs> Aww, yeah. Brian. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I feel See, like I mean IVF. I, that's I so I sensitive like, like you know to even talk about because yeah, yeah. we don't know what's on the other side right no, i mean yeah. i can wish i can be like a billionaire tomorrow it, <laughs> it's just my wish but if i i might i might die like five minutes later right? no, i not. don't know i'm no, just saying no, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. old. No, I'm 
I'm so old. Yeah, yeah, I'm so People who are on my podcast love will live five minutes longer. Everyone come on Brian's podcast. You live five longer. longer. You get a plus uh, plus five bubbles. Plus five. <laughs> yeah, but, but I think this kind of uh, expanding your family connects to your question to like eternity, as in whether mm. you're gonna live or not. For me, I might not want to retain my body to live longer but rather i would say my character should live mm. so i i put Ooh. you know it's like uh, <laughs> something that i i really want because you know whatever my f- father had in half mm. my mother had in half mm. at least some genes are in me oh yeah likewise it's going to be keep going on yeah. that means i'll be living yeah. in in my own way so i think everybody has that eternal option to live like you know forever it's funny how you <laughs> brought up because if you think about it you know i'm asian uh king is khan mm-hmm. i could have king is khan's exactly. gene like dna in my body <gasps> right. it's possible right <laughs> I mean, it's, it's scientifically it possible, is, yeah, it is possible. It, it, I, I think it's like <laughs> very possible yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Like <laughs> and you know you could have a first indian man's gene could be yeah, yeah. i mean I, I i i don't even think it goes in like country perspective maybe you know way forever if you really see us in history they say adam ewal right if you think of which probably everybody is connected to we don't know oh yeah. it's yeah. just I, i saw i saw this like article where they said the first mother is from africa really mm-hmm. oh wow mm-hmm. the so first mother is from I africa b- I, i believe that <laughs> yeah and like it's just the way we look like different types of people mm. yeah, yeah there's this actress she's a nigerian actress called regina, regina daniels i look uh-huh. exactly like oh. her oh. really oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> regina <laughs> daniels <laughs> 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 add the picture <laughs> somewhere yeah. Yeah. because yeah. I, saw, i watched her so many yeah. times guys add, add the picture definitely. i think my mom used to watch her so many times I, i've never Bro, thought about it right until like now does she do you think she does my mom was like yeah yeah let me see It's, it's me holding your phone like give oh. it. Oh. No, it's fine. Fine. I, oh, That's this is her. Just letting oh. you guys know we'll end at 8 p.m. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. That's her. Do we know when does the boundless close? <gasps> yeah, literally. Okay. Yeah, like I Shoo 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 shoo. I'm hungry as hell. Yeah. You want to boundless? I'm hungry. You want a boundless? <laughs> I'm hungry. Me too. Click on it. Yeah, having a boundless party <laughs> after <laughs> this podcast. <laughs> show me, show me, show me, show me. Boundless sucks though. I'm no, 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 no. It's pretty good. Just I just yeah. looking really at the Okay, I like the salad. Boundless. Okay. I like the salad. Go to Prescott campus That's and come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prescott. Okay, okay. Well, I've I've never gone to Prescott. Emma, you look much better than her. What's your on Prescott <laughs> campus? <laughs> oh, Rishi, Rishi Riz. Yeah. The Rishi Riz. Yeah. What did he say? He said he said Emma you look better than her. Oh my goodness. Rishi Rizler. Rizler. I'm kidding. I'm, that's so Gen Z. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't really you, you're right. making yeah, fun of us for being I, I Gen Z. I can see that. I you can see, see right? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, you can see it. You guys have to explain and what this Riz means because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't, Brian, I don't take it away. It is so uh, dumb. Take like, it away, Brian. It's such a dumb word term Brian. that someone created. Okay. Just like, raising, like... You're okay. Gen Z. You're Gen Z. <laughs> but I don't use... What, I don't do what that. What does that mean? Yeah, but you have mean? to know. It means, like, man uses <laughs> words Wait, to attract women. Oh, no, I cheesy, think I think it goes like both cheesy. ways, uh-huh. but like yeah, charisma. I yeah, it's like charisma. charisma. Then use a charisma. Why do you have to create yes, another word term? It's <laughs> that's <simpler>. charisma. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like ah. it's not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the, in the social media, oh, the guy uses riz to attract <laughs> women, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, they they do like dumb shit. Yeah, it's so. So dumb. Right, you know what you It did just now with the Singaporean, like you, you yeah, like kind of yeah. That's Riz. Riz. That's well, Riz. I, I'm not. Riz. I'm not using Riz. I'm just using. Uh, I'm offering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but that was Riz. <laughs> that that probably yeah. made some. Girl sure. Like the basic sure. definition yeah. is like yeah. that, uh, <laughs> the basic definition of Riz is like the ability to <laughs> attract, <laughs> us <laughs> to or like to talk <laughs> in a romantic way. Yeah, then then just say romantic. You I, know? I I think I think yeah. Previous generation they use like cheesy Gen words, you know, when you talk yeah, about yeah. it. But I think as long as the person who you are trying to convey the message yeah. understand, any words is fine. Yeah. <laughs> It's just very awkward <laughs> that you tell something it it is positive or not. I if I don't understand, it's like. I become like blank. I don't know how to react. So <laughs> I think it's the same with like different uh, generation people. So yeah. And it's most popular in west side too. It's not on the east side no, if you think Singapore of. No, in Singapore we <laughs> use riz. For example, maybe you are the one who spread it there. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> for, for example, how the Singapore riz works? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, in Singapore we like have uh, our own language, right? right? Singlish. Okay. Right. So, um, like 
our race is according to like because we have four different languages that we mm. mix English, Tamil, uh, Malay, and Chinese, and we kind of like use the different languages to have race. Mm. Yeah, but I, I, I honestly I haven't done it, so I don't know. But like I'm sure people in the comments <laughs> will yes. tell you. But yeah, like I honestly Singapore is great, guys. I'm a Singaporean tourism board. Everyone, <laughs> please go to Singapore. Right. Thank you. And and have babies like Brian. <laughs> we need we need more people. Yes. I got to add a Marathi <laughs> as Jeliska. This, this, this looks just like this Emma. That's me. <laughs> that is Emma. That is Emma. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Continue. It's weird. Oh, I was just saying that I can. I'm adding a Marathi Riz here, Jeliska. Huh? Yeah. He did something. What what apparently, he d- I don't know. He did something. What did he do? Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's a Riz. Is it a human being? No. What does it you mean said like a Riz. Being? Okay. <laughs> you said right that Riz belongs <laughs> to like so what our Riz is. Yeah. So this is the Riz that I <laughs> people <laughs> use in Maharashtra. It's a state in uh, India. He's from Maharashtra. Yeah. They say Jeliska. <laughs> Jay. Jay- which just Chennai Riz. Any Chennai Riz? Jeliska. Tamil Riz. Jeliska. What does Jeliska mean? Okay. It just means that did he had food. <laughs> but but oh honestly, God. that's the it's term that every here. guy is using <laughs> for every Wait, wait, girl let me raise you up in Bemba. So Bemba is like my dialect. Yeah. Oh, she's going to raise me up. Nali <laughs> kutemua. <laughs> Oh, what does I it mean? I, 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 I like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't that like a Korean thing? Like, uh, like, yeah. like, come back to my house and eat ramen or something. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, I love you. Ramen, ramen, I don't get it. I don't know. You know? Isn't oh. that a thing? It's okay, it's that's a, real. It's, it's like uh, Netflix uh, and chill kind of okay. thing. I know, I know, I know, I know about it. It's like, do you want to eat ramen? And it's raw like it's man. It's, it's, it's your house. No, 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 you're inviting show. them like to your house. So I don't so get it though. Like, why, why would you? Ramen? Why would you have ramen if you want to have a date? <laughs> no, yeah, no. you're inviting someone to your house, and that's like, like it's a making a move. It's like Guys, it's like it's asking for raw like man. No, no, shut up, shut up. Yeah. Stop hey. saying that. Stop <laughs> saying that. I'm so sorry. I'm it's so okay, sorry. Okay. Really Cut trying to emphasize the word. <laughs> that is gross. No, I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I'll put it into perspective. Yeah. If you're like going out on a date with someone, you're like asking them out to a restaurant. Yeah. But if you're gonna ask them back to your house, yeah. or like especially the girl like bring you back to your like right. her house, <coughs> that's definitely like making a move, and that's right. like doing something like extra. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say like, hey, would you like to have a red wine in my house? Cause you're like bougie. <laughs> Not everyone has oh red wine goodness. in the house. I think the way it's like uh, ramen is like Shin common in here. Korea. You know, yeah. like it's kind of like. Like what is it? Staple. <laughs> <laughs> I like how us like, like, like non Koreans like are explaining this to you. Yeah. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> we watch too much K dramas. Shout out to K dramas. <laughs> no, from this K pop. K pop. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think because of how ra- co- common ramen is, mm. it's just like oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's. Yeah, I mean, because hear me out. <laughs> Here's a reason why I don't think that phrase is correct. Because mm-hmm. if w- man and woman uh, eat ramen together. Uh, they gotta brush your teeth, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. Listen up, girls. <laughs> and, uh, girls and at the end, uh-huh, uh-huh. they're gonna kiss. But if they had ramen, how would they, br- you know, brush your teeth? You know, that's true. Just, that's true. It's just like I a agree. Scene. I don't like when when you yeah, kiss. It's like, like to get somebody taste. to your house, you know. Yeah, I don't like it when there's food tasting when you like you said. Yeah, I don't it's think it's necessary. It's, it's a big gross. <laughs> it's a big gross. I agree. Roman, I kind of okay, agree with you. Yeah. That's, That's why right. we need a red wine after the ramen. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah, red you wine. You can do that. Just uh, when you invite them, you tell them we're going for ramen. But when you get there, you can also have red wine. And brush your teeth. It's not yeah. like and then just you can. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you can yeah. progress. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, we can go more about this, but since this is a yeah. public... We cannot go more. Oh, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> <than> me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mom, right. if you're watching this, it's Ritika. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god. Oh my god. Don't blame her. <laughs> yeah, we. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be lying. I know y'all. Bl- I know what you be doing, okay. Emma. Ritika, we love you. Emma, I know what you be doing. Oh. What are we doing? Oh. What are we doing? <laughs> that's for. That's for later. Study. <laughs> Ruth. Oh, no, that's that's Ruth. conversation for later. <laughs> I'm a child. Mama though. Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's doing. <laughs> Big thinking you brought your child <laughs> 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 thinking you brought your child to do AE yeah, yeah. AE she's doing AE I'm doing AE <laughs> that's AE exactly no. what I'm doing I must doing, doing AMS Mom, it's not, thank it's you not yeah. I'm a one thing you brought up is about the boundless right Ooh. I don't yeah. like boundless let's talk about boundless you know I'm okay okay it. okay yeah. honestly yeah, okay honestly in Singapore my, my sister's university I've gone to her like cafeteria and it's like 
it's like it looks like like a jail. Like you just like go around your tray and then you give it and then you like. So For I I I agree that Boundless is better than like other <coughs> universities. Yeah. It's just I've had a lot of stomach issues, so mm. I don't go to Boundless. Mm. Oh, from Boundless. Yeah. Oh. For me, I feel like Boundless is a hit or miss. True. It's like yeah, exactly. sometimes it's like really great. And yeah. You have like really great value for your money. Today was so good. Yeah, especially the was breakfast. Yeah. Boundless breakfast is the best yes. breakfast like after. on Let's campus. Go. Yeah. It's so just like true. the variety. You have like a lot of okay, things true, true, true. variety. Shop. Okay, I'm I'm yeah. sorry, Boundless. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna <laughs> shit on you. You wanna yeah. say something? You. And I feel like the so meal Dexo. options. Like that's something I talk about. I'm a tour guide, and yeah, that's yeah. something I talk about when we're giving tours. The meal options here <coughs> are really good yeah. compared to other schools, mm-hmm. and we, you have like something new to try out. We have like Fire Cafe. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about. There are many cafe. options. That's what yeah, I like. There's like yeah, there's like. I'm sorry. I'm diverse. sorry, Bound. Sudexo. <laughs> we love you, Sudexo. Because I want to add about Boundless, yeah. though. Yeah. There's this person, Christina, who works in the substation. She is the most sweetest person I've ever met. <laughs> including you ever her met? And I, I've ever met. She's the yeah. most sweetest person. Only okay, not here, okay? You're not <laughs> sweet. Oh. A little bit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but not only her, but like other workers, they're also like so sweet. Mm. All the Sodexo people, all the people on the ca- uh, they work on campus, they are the sweetest person I've ever met. Because they're getting paid. There's only That's one person. That's not true. Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The, the truth Bro, is... Some Sodexo oh. workers, some yeah, Sodexo underpaid. workers are so so mad, really? like so mad all the time. <coughs> really? They're underpaid, and some of them are so mad. There's this like one woman like during the hotline in the balance. No, no, no. The like hotline, hotline, like right here. Oh, okay, like okay. Yeah, oh, she, yeah, she's like always mad. Yeah. Really? Hmm. No, the one with the no hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's mad. No, but honestly, okay, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> boy. No, but honestly, she's thinking. Oh, I wish I had a, you know, I wish I had a hair. No, yeah, so no, mad. yeah. And, like she, she has an accent, so like it's really hard for me to hear. And mm. then every time oh. I go like, huh, huh, she like gets mad at me. Mm. Okay, they're like underpaid yeah. and they overwork. Salt. So. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, please put that away. <laughs> and I please feel like they should be patient to international students. Like I can't pronounce half of these words. Like I'm trying my best on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I no, get for that. For real, most of yeah. them are like normally really understanding. But I get there and I'm like, oh, can I get this? And it's like, huh? Can I get this? I'm like, mm. are you, are you, are you need to speak up. I'm like, oh my god, I'm trying. I, 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 I'm I, actually trying. I said capsicum once yeah. instead of bell peppers because in Singapore we <laughs> use like the British like yeah, English. Oh yeah. So I say like dustbin and I say like I'll be oh like, where's yeah. the dustbin? And they're like, what? That, I've never heard of that word. I mean, which I understand because they I never heard of the term. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. get that. I yeah. get that. But like, yeah, it's just. Do funny. you spread just your bed? Like, do you say I'm spreading my bed? Oh. Or making, making. Oh, bro, I don't say spreading. Like I'm spreading my bed. I'm spreading my bed. <laughs> for real, well, I say I'm making. <laughs> my bed. Is it a riz? Guys, yes, is it a riz? <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's Brian Brian Brian. Brian. Wrong time. Like I'm spreading it. I'll spread. I'll spread my bed for you. Yeah, spreading your bedding. <laughs> You're your learning. Bedding. <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> okay, I would like to add on this, like, just the conversation that we are having. Like, we come from a different part of the world. We speak differently and we have different Good way job. we communicate, like, the spread thing and making a bed yeah. and just the pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. It reminded me of a session we had at FILC on day two. Mm-hmm. It was all about how... Accent. Accent. Oh, yeah, back. I think you were also there at the session, right? Mm. Remember? So yeah. we were talking about ha- our own experiences of mm. when we come here and we are communicating at our best, and the other person is not able to hear. How mm. frustrating it does gets, mm-hmm. and also it's we also try to understand the perspective of the other person, like like. Because this is our second language. Yeah, you know? it is yeah. a second language. Yeah. And for example, you are at a place and someone is talking to you and you are not able to understand them because they are having different dialects. So you even tell them that, okay, repeat. Can you please repeat? It mm-hmm. fe- you feel like, shit, I don't want to ask them to repeat, but you are. that's the only option right. you have. So it's just about learning, being yeah. respectful at the same time and also understanding we all come from a different part. Yeah. And yeah, just learning about different culture. I think it's yeah. really I, I actually I equally had that challenge when I came here mm. and like the first time I was doing math. Because like they have different terminologies for mm. like mm. math. Yeah. Physics too. And physics too. And I was like, what are they talking mm. about? And it was definitely like a barrier even when it came to my classes mm. and stuff. And like mm. communicating with my professors. There's a point where I just never used to participate in class because my professor made myself made me repeat myself over and mm. over and over. Yeah, yeah it's like, how, how don't you understand? I'm saying aviation instead of aviation. Like, mm. what's the difference in that? That's, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like those uh, small, small 
stuff yeah, and yeah. it's yeah. frustrating it does which i understand which of course accents we have different accents just you getting mad because i can't pronounce something is mm. just it hurts is yeah, she like actually mad yeah, because we couldn't pr- pronounce well well no okay not exactly well, it, it seemed like like they're already mad and it's like oh yeah could you like hurry up you know you have to they're do like something irritable like. so yeah it it makes me feel bad as well she Even needs this <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's she needs a she needs a mind boost and just, it, it, it kind of feels bad <coughs> <laughs> no but I love the FILC for that because I haven't talked in my like mother tongue for a while mm. and then I met Rishi who oh speaks like God. the same language as me I was like I'm a even if he doesn't want to <laughs> speak I'm gonna like push him to speak like Tamir with me because like really it has been like a year since I've like spoken my mother tongue yeah. and it's like and I'm looking for other Singaporean people if you guys are on campus I heard there's Malaysians and Singaporeans on campus mm. hit me up guys hit yeah. me up yeah, I, hit, I've hit I'm her up hit please her hit up. me up <laughs> <laughs> hit me up and the fun because yeah. I'm like so deprived yeah, of yeah raise hers a lot <laughs> Riz, <laughs> not raise raise her spread, 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 spread the bed friends <laughs> <laughs> Brian, yeah. I think Brian's in a mood right now. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm using the term that you guys taught me. No, I just, I just hit me up as a friend. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. you know there are only like two Zambians on campus. That is so. Wow. That's how I feel because I think there's only Malaysians here. I, th- I vibe with Malaysians, but I really want to find Singaporeans. Mm. So the funny thing is, I reached out to the other Zambian here on campus, and he didn't reply. Oh, that's. Mm. Oh, you I don't <laughs> want that to happen to me. That's bad for no, him. No, I, I feel like there's a few more Kenyans. Like I think four or five more Kenyans. Oh, and that's all good. And mm. but then most of them are like graduating. It's just no. like, oh. <laughs> but whenever I do meet them, we're always speaking Swahili. Oh, that's he, so funny. They make fun of me because I can't speak like more like, uh, what is it like Sheng? Uh, what do you <laughs> <laughs> like? What is it huh? like? They're like closer like the dialects kind of yeah. okay, okay. Swahili, which okay, I, I can a little bit. Um, <laughs> the good thing but is at least I get to speak Swahili. It's actually fun. The good thing yeah. is uh, the good thing is fall semester is coming. There could be yeah, new people. Freshmen. That's yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Chances are very low though. I don't know. I, think, I don't think it's that popular in Kenya. Freshmen. So unless someone actually wants to do like aerospace or aviation, no. No. Uh, most people don't come here. Mm. I d- yeah. I'd like to ask you, did you find anyone from your place and who speaks the same the language at the conference? Or I did. Oh, I did. I found one. Oh, yeah. I found a Singaporean. Yeah. I found, I found a Singaporean. Oh, there was two Kenyans, but one of them didn't speak Swahili. Which oh, v- Vikram. Oh, I, I don't he, he went to Delhi and then he came back, right? Yeah, yeah. they said he was raised in Kenya. Mm. But, like, I feel like there's people who, like, live in, like, areas where they don't mm. necessarily speak Swahili. Yeah. But the other one was, like, one of, like, the locals who spoke Swahili. It, mm. was, it was fun. I found a South African. And, like, I was so happy. South African in yeah. FILC? Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. Oh. Yeah, and, like, that's... Who was it? Cre- I, I have no idea. I don't remember his name, but he was such an awesome remember. guy. Mm. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I feel like that was the closest I had, so like... To mm. home and stuff. Even here, it's always like South Africans or Nigerians. Mm. About the language part, uh, I yeah. just have this interesting thought. We got two minutes. Okay. Um, would you implement the trip in your brain to learn oh. languages? No. Yes, I, I, I would I love to. I love learning <laughs> languages. Neuralink, like Neuralink. <laughs> Elon Musk, Neuralink. If you Elon ever Musk. make it, <laughs> I want to go to Spain. I volunteer. I volunteer to read. <laughs> um, I want to go to South America and like that. I know. I genuinely. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, I love learning languages, which it does take time. Mm-hmm. But like, I whatever I learn, I love to like pick yeah. up a you few will words. You love Singapore. I. You will love Singapore. Honestly, that's what Singapore is about. It's like all the different like Asian countries just come together, and we're all like having yeah. fun. Yeah. Like so if I do, if they do get a chance, if yeah. they do make it, come on, Singapore. Yeah. I but would you implement a trip to learn the la- download language <laughs> files? A chip. So like once it's <laughs> advanced yeah. enough. Well, my 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 theory is. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh put the Neuralink chip in my brain Mm -hmm. and download languages I want to, you know, and you can just, in one click, you can, you know, speak Russian, you know, Hindi. I would love that. Yeah. It sounds really cool. It's it's looking scary. But like, like the benefits. Why are we limiting it to language? Why can't we like go ahead and like store engineering data or like yeah we can do it, we, can, we can do like a yeah. how to ma- how to fly Cessna, Cessna 172 yeah. boom it's just if we do that then yeah. what's the difference between two people yeah what do you mean what's the if we do that then yeah, what's like the purpose of so having oh, you, guys you don't have to do it I'll do it thank you <laughs> you're nobody's saying gonna be unique you're everybody's gonna be the same exactly. you're saving and tons we'll of lose humanity exactly. you're saving tons of time <laughs> Hmm? You're saving tons of time to yeah, no, learn. No, see, see, see. That, no, no, I understand you save a lot of time, but mm. with that, okay, if everyone knows the same thing, everyone would like to be a billionaire and have a business. True. Who's going to work for that business? Mm. No one. 
Who's gonna do the other stuff? No one. Who's gonna be a farmer? No one. Who's gonna do the service? No one. There won't be a sense of community. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like that's where the world Monarchy. is going. The no. sense of community yeah. is just like Dictatorship. vanishing. Yeah. It's like you and your kids and that's it. Yeah. Listen, like imagine being like in a dictatorship world with with only dictators. Mm. I'm no one to listen. I'm selfish. Yeah. Well, oh my it's uh, oh, don't be selfish. I'm selfish. I'll do it. It's <laughs> it's 8 p.m. Oh. Oh, we gotta end. Oh my god, we had so much fun. I know. So much fun. <laughs> Subscribe to ah. Brian. <laughs> this was the oh longest god. podcast I've ever done. Two oh hours. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, you can go up to three hours, but you know, everyone gets hungry. So. Yeah, we could, but I'm yeah. hungry to get food. Thanks everyone for coming to my podcast. Uh, I really appreciate it. Had a lot of fun for two hours. Yeah. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, will see in the next, 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 next podcast in the infinite available time. I love Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Brian. Thank you. Brian. Follow my Instagram. Yes. Follow I'll my put Instagram everyone's so Instagram. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Peace out. We did it. <laughs>